Shantae LaVette, and I am so excited about today's video. I did this video last year, and I thought it would be fun to do this video again for 2016. And this time around, we're going to explore what's trending, and to see where these trends have popped up before in the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, 90s, and the early 2000s. I'm also going to talk about the color trends. I did it last year in two separate videos, but this year I decided to go ahead and combine it. So if you want to see what's going to be showing up in our home interior stores over the next year, then stick around and let's get started. Our first trend is geometric decorative tiles. This trend will be showing up in kitchens and bathrooms in a major way. And you'll be seeing more of the octagon tiles being used, but this is not anything new. This trend made an appearance in 1980. Notice the tile on the island. And here it is again in a new interior on the bathroom floor. And it's still very stunning. Up next are mixed metals. There has always been a myth that you can't mix metals in the same interior. And if you're using gold, you have to use all gold, or if you're using silver, you have to use silver. But in these next interiors, you'll see that mixing metals can create a pull together and luxurious feel in your space. This trend started a couple of years ago, but it's not anything new. Here's an interior from 1990 showing the use of the mixed metals. And when it's done right, it definitely takes your interior space to another level. Pretty pendants is our next trend. These new stylish pendants are like jewelry for your room. But this is not anything new. Back in 1969, notice the pendant above the island. Very similar to the one that was just recently featured in House Beautiful. And grouping a number of light fixtures together is becoming an even bigger trend. But it's not anything new. It showed up on the scene in 1994. But definitely this is a trend that can really make a huge impact in your space. And using colored pendants, like in this picture from 1969, can definitely infuse some much needed color in a stark interior. Pedestals. This is definitely not a new trend. What I love about pedestals is that they can bring some drama and can be a great space filler in your interior decor. Notice in this picture from 1976 where the pedestal is used right at the front door. And if you're looking to amp up your interiors, try adding a pedestal displaying a great piece of art. The next trend is bed linens with pizzazz. We spend a third of our lives sleeping in our beds, so why not have our beds look spectacular? You'll definitely see the bedding and linen companies pulling out all the stops in this coming year. But this is not anything new. Phil Crest back in 1976 displayed that your bedding shouldn't be forgotten and it should always have some pizzazz. Next on our list are graphic throw pillows. This is my favorite trend because I make pillows for one, but it's definitely a trend that, that you can get on board with very easily. And when you tire of the pillows, you can just change them out. You can add them to your bed, your sofa, anywhere you want to add a little spice in a room. But this is definitely not a new trend. Back in Architectural Digest 1976 shows the use of the toss pillow. Again, in 1969, notice the graphic pillows on the sofa. And also, this is one of my most favorite rooms from Architectural Digest 1969. This room is such great design. Notice the use of the graphic throw pillows. Up next are Guatemalan and Artesian fabrics. This trend really started last year with the use of the woven and the natural textures. But this is not a new trend. Architectural Digest featured this from Schumacher in 1969, the Mayan II collection. What I love about this trend is the calming effect that it has in your space. So definitely check this one out for 2016. Next up is fabric wall art. I broke this up into three categories. The first category is the macrame or string hangings. This trend actually started last year, but now it has definitely picked up some steam using more colors, but this is not anything new. Notice this picture from Textual Digest 1976. And you'll see this trend definitely picking up even more steam in 2016 in fresh and unusual ways. Notice the lion's head in the back. Second up in this category are tapestries or just fabric wall hangings. 
you can definitely take a tapestry or a large piece of fabric and just hang it on your wall to definitely take up wall space and to introduce additional textures and colors. And third in the fabric wall hanging category, you can simply just take pieces of beautiful fabric and drape them around canvases to create your very own wall art. And this can be an economical way to treat your walls. Up next is traditional tableware. So y'all, it is time to break out with those wedding dishes your grandmother's dishes you'll see this trend taking off with some very beautiful place settings in 2016 and what I love about this trend this is a great opportunity to really sit down with your family minus the electronic devices social media everything can be turned off you can sit down and actually have a wonderful meal with your family and do it in style but this trend of course is not anything new Here's a picture from House Beautiful circa 1981 of a lovely dinner tablescape using the blue and white. And if you're daring, why not go outside for a dinner when spring and summer rolls around? But this trend is definitely a way to corral the family back together for a good sit down dinner. The office desk. The office desk has never really gone anywhere. They're making a huge statement by being more stylish in the home. But this is not anything new. Via Architectural Digest circa 1968 noticed the desk. Also more contemporary in 1969 and again in 1976. This is definitely a staple in the American home. If you have to work from home, if you're going to work from home, why not make it stylish and beautiful? In our next trend, I actually grouped two together, Scandinavian and deaf design. Scandinavian design is characterized by minimalistic, clean lines, light woods that you see in these pictures. But this is not anything new. Notice the interior from 1970 with the Scandinavian feel. You can definitely check out IKEA. They have the Scandinavian design furniture to help you easily transform your space. But in Delft design, which are characterized by blue and white tiles, not to be confused with chinoiserie, but it's more of a country feel. Notice in this picture from 1993, Veranda 1993, it made an appearance. And again, here's a picture from House Beautiful 2011, where these tiles that depict more of, of a floral or a rustic design. Notice on the walls and again on the pottery. Our final design in the interior design trends are glamoury rooms. And what a glamoury room is a family room that is taken up a notch. We know that the family room is a space to gather in and kick off our shoes and hang out and watch TV. But this year people are putting a little more time and effort into decorating these spaces. So you might want to take a look around at your family room to see if you can amp up the style. This is not a new trend in Architectural Digest 1968. Notice this glamoury room with the furry pillows, the gold tables, the bearskin rug on the floor. Pretty sure it's faux. But these spaces are being reclaimed with style in hand. This room is by our own YouTube Rebecca Robeson. Love that room. These rooms are stepping it up a notch but keeping the whole family in mind. Now let's move on to the color trends for 2016. Shora Williams selected Alabaster as their color of the year. Benjamin Moore selected Simply White as their color of the year. Agzo Noble selected Cherished Gold as their color of the year. Pittsburgh Paint selected Paradise Found as their color of the year. And Pantone selected the twins of Rose Quartz and Serenity as their colors of the year. White. It's not as easy to work with to have a pull together interior as many people think. It does take a skilled hand to create spaces that don't look stark but warmed and lived in. This is not a new trend to use the white notice in 1976, but if it's done right, white can be pretty spectacular. Our next color trend is gold. This color is characterized by the more deeper and richer vibe, but this muddled shade of gold has made its way on the scene many times before on appliances, housewares, and even on a pool table. Notice this picture from 1969. This color has once again been resurrected for 2016. Our next color is green or a shade of green. Pittsburgh Paint is calling this color Paradise Found. This color green falls under the cooler tones 
and the green family. This could be a great color to add to an accent wall for some color play. But this is not a new shade of green. Notice this picture from Architectural Digest 1969. You almost can't tell that this picture is that old. And this color showed up again in 1976. This color can definitely cool and soften your interior space. And finally, the dynamic duo of pink and blue. I think we're so accepting of these colors because we do see them in nature. This time around, they definitely have matured from what you typically think of pink and blue. But this is not anything new. Pretty much in every decade, pink and blue has shown up on the scene. This is from Architectural Digest 1976. It made another appearance in House Beautiful circa 1981. And again in Veranda circa 1995. And if you're feeling a little daring to add to your interior space, the pink and blue. I am pretty sure that you'll find plenty of items to incorporate into your interior design space. So y'all, that's it for the interior design trends for 2016. So if you enjoyed this video, why not give it a thumbs up? If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, I thank you so much for watching. And until the next video.